Today we're looking at an indie title by Deux Deuxième, published by Focus Home Interactive in 2020, Shady Part of Me. This is Chris at Talent Gaming. Let's get started. Shady Part of Me is a single player, side scrolling adventure puzzle game where you solve well thought out challenges while also having the ability to rewind time. The game features both 2D and 3D gameplay that can be swapped out at will as you explore the surrealistic, handcrafted environment rendered with a unique watercolor style. The story is about a girl who's trapped in the dark with nobody but her own shadow for company. The journey that follows explores a wide variety of landscapes and scenery, with bits of story continually dropped throughout. You play as a girl in her shadow which is voiced over by Hannah Murray from Game of Thrones and Skins. Shady Part of Me is available for the PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Windows PC. PC system requirements are very light. Most any system built in the last 10 years with at least 4GB of RAM and 3GB of storage should be able to run this one. To get the most from the game, you'll want a quad-core CPU with 8GB of RAM and discrete graphics. The game consists of two main characters, a girl and her shadow. The little girl is afraid of light and dies when exposed, so she must stay lurking in the dark. Her shadow, on the other hand, lives in the light, but can walk on shadows as if they're solid. This makes for a great combination as both characters need to progress to the rotating circle at the end of the location to continue onward. The girl is also very quiet, easily frightened, and can only walk while the shadow can skip and jump and is far more upbeat and lively, as you can hear in the voiceovers. Are you alright? Not really. The little girl is able to move in three dimensions and has a lot more access to the world around. She interacts with objects differently than her shadow, which is flatly constrained to two dimensions. The game allows you to swap back and forth between characters at any time, providing both a 2D and 3D game environment to explore all in one place. This is pretty unique and quite fascinating and really helps to get the most from each scene in the game. The 2D 3D concept allows the developers to mix and combine puzzles between both characters and makes for very interesting gameplay but is not entirely unique to the genre. The puzzles are clever and thoughtfully put together. In some cases you'll need to move boxes to provide a safe passage for the shadow to walk across. In other situations you may need to activate switches, levers, valves and lights. Working together is the only way to navigate the dreamscape. This all reminds me a little bit of the Little Nightmares franchise but with a more wholesome and family friendly spin. A unique game mechanic, Shady Part of Me allows you to turn back the clock and rewind time, which helps to ease any concerns with failure and allows you to try different ideas while solving puzzles. Throughout the game you'll find origami birds, some of which are easily accessible, while others add a new dimension of puzzle solving and exploration. Each piece found unlocks more storyline, further spinning the tale of a girl and her shadow. The game features surreal and entirely handmade environments across between dreams and reality. There's plenty of variety of scenery to admire and explore, from bedrooms and libraries to HVAC systems, sewers, and even a coal-fired furnace. You also see and interact with toy soldiers, dolls, toy trains, and so much more. The graphics are very well put together. The hand-drawn scenes are excellent and really come to life with stunning animations and seamless cutscenes. The game features a watercolor-like appearance with soft colors, tones, and highlights throughout. It really feels like you're playing a game on an artist's sketchpad, and I've been thoroughly impressed with the graphics throughout. Sound effects are very good with plenty of variety and really help to provide a deep sense of immersion. Music is excellent and very calming, and there's a fair variety in the selection of songs and styles heard throughout the game. Voice acting is excellently performed by Hannah Murray. She's quite talented and really helped to bring life to this game. The game's narrator also does a fantastic job, and the audible experience of the game really is top-notch. Why is she still keeping up? She's not the one moving things forward. You don't really start out with a huge amount of backstory here, but a short prologue that introduces you to the characters and the game. But from then on, you'll learn more and more about the girl and the story that's playing out. And she must learn to overcome her fears and struggles through an interesting narrative, and it's quite interesting as a whole. It's another unique and interesting aspect to the game. The control scheme the game introduced during the prologue is pretty simple. No mouse clicking, just keyboard input for the PC, up, down, left, right, rewind, use, and jump. That's it. It's simple and accessible, even for those gamers who aren't particularly well coordinated. It's a fun game with no real learning curve, so even the most casual of gamers should have no trouble picking it up and running with it quite easily. There's plenty to see and do here, and although the puzzles aren't overly complex, they may make you scratch your head from time to time. The origami mechanic also lends to additional problem solving if you're so inclined. 
Shady part of me will take you between five and seven hours on your first run through to complete if you don't take a moment to enjoy the beautiful artwork. There's also nearly 100 origami hidden throughout the game to seek out and that adds another element of gameplay. I don't necessarily think most of us would dive right back into the game after completion, but it's certainly worth a second look or sharing with the kids. This side-scrolling adventure with exciting and thought-provoking puzzles, skilled artistry, excellent voiceovers and sound throughout all come together quite nicely for a calm, pleasantly paced journey. This isn't a game that I would normally think to pick up and play, but I think I would have missed out had I not given it a chance. Fans for side-scrollers, puzzle and indie games are just looking for something a little out of their wheelhouse to give it a try. I'm glad I did.